Okay, here's our Turo story. It's Super Bowl Sunday, and at this Super Bowl party, you'll find plenty of delicious, unhealthy food, a lot of pregame anxiety, and this man. Unfortunately, what you're about to see is not unusual. The game has started poorly for Arturo's team. He's frustrated, even yelling at the TV. At halftime, he reloads his plate with hot wings. It's now 6.45 and the second half has begun. The party livens up, but Arturo becomes quiet. Just as his team takes the field, he drops his plate of food. Arturo bends down to clean up the mess, but he slips from the chair, hits his head on the table, falls to the floor. He's unconscious. Arturo's wife Patricia sees what happened and calls 911 right away. Arturo is still on the floor when the emergency medical technicians, or EMTs, arrive. One EMT speaks with Patricia about what happened. A second EMT measures Arturo's vital signs, temperature, pulse rate, blood pressure, and respiratory rate. Take some notes. Arturo is short of breath. At 7.15, the EMTs attach electrocardiograph, or EKG, wires to Arturo's chest to measure his heart's electrical activity. By this time, he is conscious, but he's pale and confused, and he doesn't even know what happened. Arturo's head is bleeding from the fall, and he's complaining of a stomach ache. The EMTs treat the cut, make sure his vitals are stable, and prepare him for transport to the emergency room. During their examination, one EMT notices that Arturo is tender in the abdomen. Write that down. Arturo arrives at the emergency room at 735. The emergency room registered nurse, or ERRN, takes his vital signs. Looking over Arturo's family history, the nurse doesn't see anything related to heart disease. While placing an oxygen tube into each nostril, she notices that Arturo's having a little trouble taking breaths. She clips a pulse oximeter to Arturo's finger and inserts an intravenous line into his right wrist. She asks Arturo how he feels. He says his head hurts and his stomach aches. Outside the emergency room, the ER admitting clerk asks the family about Arturo's health background and condition. All the details being gathered, called sample information, are important. Hint, hint. Sample stands for signs or symptoms reported by the patient, allergies, medications, past medical history, last oral intake, and events leading to this medical episode. An electrocardiograph technician enters the trauma room and attaches wire leads to Arturo's chest. Remember, the EMTs prepped Arturo for this earlier. The technician conducts a procedure called an electrocardiogram, EKG or ECG, to measure and monitor the electrical activity of Arturo's heart. At 7.45, the technician prints a graph of the EKG results for Arturo's medical chart. An emergency room physician arrives shortly afterward. He reviews the information in Arturo's chart, performs a physical exam. The physician speaks briefly with Arturo and orders diagnostic tests. A clinical laboratory technician draws blood for the test at 7.50 p.m. Here are Arturo's vital signs and EKG. I'll leave this information on the screen for a minute. Be sure to write it all down. Later, we'll find out why these details are important. Next, I'll show you what happened with Angela and Brian.